So in today's one, I'm going back to my usual style of video and making a beat in the style of Drake's new album, For All The Dark. He didn't release it. Now obviously I can't make beats in the style of an album that hasn't released yet, so instead I'm going to make something similar to his previous album, Certified Lover Boy. So this video was meant to be the For All The Dogs video, but since I refused to listen to the leaks, this is the alternative I went for. And when this dropped like two years ago, I had it pretty much on loop, so it shouldn't be too hard to come up with something similar. All right, so we're in FL Studio. I think the reference track I'm gonna use for this one is my favorite on the album called Fair Trade, which means I'm gonna need a BPM of around about 167, 168. And as is per usual for most of my beats nowadays, I'm going to open up Synth Palace and I'm gonna look for a pad sound or something to start this beat off. So I'm gonna go into the raw synth one shot folder and look for a nice Juno 106 sound. I want the melody to sound pretty similar to the reference track, but not exactly the same, so... It sounds pretty similar to the reference track, but hopefully that will change over time. Definitely need some effects, it cannot stay like that, so... Okay, it sounds a bit better. I'm gonna open up Analog Lab 5 real quick and see what I can find. bank has got like the perfect sounds for this kind of stuff i think although i am gonna bounce that out because for whatever reason everything in this bank just kills my cpu i'm still not really satisfied with that so i'm gonna look for another preset to layer with it what i'm gonna do is reverse this and then reposition the chords back in their original order all right that needs some effects because it sounds unacceptable so Alright, that kind of took forever, but it sounds way better now. So, now what I'm going to do is go into Serum, and I might just add like my regular respace to this. I still feel like it's missing something. In the reference track, there's this like female vocal sample that continues throughout almost the whole track, and it's going to be really difficult to replicate that without singing it myself. Instead of using Splice for this, I'm actually going to go into YouTube and just like search up female vocal samples and see what I can find. All right, so there's a couple of them. Bro. Alright. <laughs> I think if I was intelligent, what I would have done is search for these vocal samples prior and then use the same chords and bass notes so it would fit properly with the beat. That's cringe, it's not from scratch, so I think I'm just gonna use a stem splitter to take the vocals out. Alright, it's not the right key either. I didn't really think this through. Alright, there's like one piece of the vocal sample that for whatever reason is out of key and I really don't like it. So I'm going to cut this part out and then increase the pitch of it slightly. So it's actually singing the note that I want it to. Alright, I think that sounds pretty good. Definitely need some effect. I'm going to root both parts into a mixer channel and just add some effects to it. Yeah, I really like that. So I think although it's not mixed, I'm more than happy to lay down some drums.
second guess every time I make a beat that's more complicated than this from now on. So now I'm going to work on the beat switch, which features Travis Scott's verse. I'm going to open Analog Lab 5 again, and I'm going to see if I can come up with a melody with the exact same preset in less time than it takes for the preset to kill my PC. I know there's a chord change somewhere in the second half of the melody, so I'm gonna have to program that now as well. Right, that's killing my PC, so real quick, I'm gonna render that out and I'm gonna add some effects to it. Okay. Alright, I think I found it. Once again, of course, I'm in the Inception Portal Bank. And there'll be a link in the description for these three packs as well, of course, at a discount. I don't really know what I'm going to add to this, though. I'm thinking maybe like a dark lead or something like that. So I'm going to go into Diva. Alright, sounds good, but it's like way too loud. Once again, I'm going to add some effects to it. I think I'm going to use another portal preset, to be honest. That could sound pretty good. There's just not enough movement in the melody for me, so I'm going to look for like some repeating phrases or something like that. Mm, I mean, I'm not really sold on that sound, so I'm going to reverse it and see what it sounds like. Okay, I think I've found my technique for this melody. I am simply just going to spam repeating phrases. <laughs> this time I'm going to look for one in Synth Palace, I think. Yeah, that'll do. Maybe like one more. Sounds cool, but I reckon I'm going to have to reverse that one. Alright, I think I've got enough content to add some drums now, so... sounds too bad. Of course, pretty simple trap pattern. I didn't really do too much to it. I think a couple of the hi-hat rolls just don't need to be there. They're a bit too aggressive for me, but it kind of works for the style I'm going for. I'm going to link everything to a mixer track and then level the beat and arrange it. I'm not too sure if I'm going to add an acapella yet. I feel like I say that every time, but... The beat's basically done. I haven't really added too much else. I've added some orchestral elements here and there just to help the transitions be a bit smoother. I also remember in the reference track, there's like a section where the drums kind of break down. So I added that also just by taking out certain drum elements. I also added some fruity love filter and reverb to the drums in this section as well. So I'll play that for you real quick. Thought I might as well mirror the reference track in that regard. So let's just see what it sounds like.
say about that. Um, I think my favorite part of the beat by far is that transition between like the slow drums and like the more hard hitting part of the track. And I think the orchestral elements really help with that. I do think once again, the track sounds way too similar to the reference track. Once again, I want to say big thank you to Prod Viome and Prod by Jack for making this video possible. If you're interested in using any of the one shots or phrases you heard in this video, there'll be an affiliate link in the description to the Synth Palace bundle. And of course, there'll also be a link to the Inception portal bank that I used in this video. I've basically been spamming in like all of my beats recently. Also I thought I'd say a big thank you to anyone showing support recently on the channel. I've received a lot of kind comments and messages stuff like that just simple words of encouragement that go a long way so i thought i'd say thank you very much of course i appreciate them all and if you've already commented any suggestions for videos recently i have seen them and i'm working towards them it just takes quite a bit of time but i'm happy to say that i see the same faces in the comments and the likes and stuff and of course thank you for watching this one like this video is basically just practice for when the actual drake album comes out hopefully if you're looking for some inspiration this video helped you in some way and of course if you enjoyed feel free to like and subscribe let's just listen to the final beat and see what i could do better for next time